I think we did a better job just kind of keeping our composure uh, when we kind of let up defensively in the third quarter. You know, there was a lot of good things in the game today, but there was also a lot of bad stuff. You know, you can't give up 48 points in a quarter um, and expect to be in a lot of games. So we were fortunate to come away with a win, but there's a lot of stuff we have to clean up. Coach didn't want us to tell you this, but he said he's going to treat the next couple of days like training camp. Um, what are some things for you guys <laughs> yeah. that you want to work on uh, ahead of this uh, West Coast trip? Uh, we just need to clean up a lot of stuff defensively. It's sort of been, you know, our woes here to start the season. Uh, you know, whether it's a lack of communication, effort, whatever it might be, it's just a lot of stuff that we really need to clean up, get on the same page with. Um, we need to limit, you know, the fouls. Um, we've been putting teams on the line a lot. Uh, and then we got to clean up uh, taking care of the ball. You know, simple stuff that it's, a lot of it is in our control, um, but a lot of it that will be really valuable to have some good practice days and teachable days. Sarves have really hit three-pointers against you guys. What do you think is, uh, is allowing them to get loose for so many open threes? I think uh, sort of the activity on the defensive end hasn't been as high as it could be. Um, whether that's uh, deflections, contests, uh, it seems like teams get in a comfortable rhythm and there's too many talented players in this league to let teams get comfortable offensively. In terms of, I guess, protecting the ball, obviously it was 23 turnovers tonight, but it wasn't any one person's fault. It was two or three turnovers for everybody out yeah. there. Uh, how do you start cutting down on that from, from a team perspective? It's just, uh, you know, across the board, uh, guys, you know, keeping each other accountable. Um, you know, over the course of the game, you're probably going to have 10 turnovers or so, or so just because you're playing hard, you're competing. That's the way the, the, the game goes. But it's the other 10 um, that you have to get a limit. You can't have the careless ones, uh, the ones where guys are cutting back door and you throw it or, you know, you try the Harold Mary pass. You know, there's this uh, level of simplicity to the game that we have to approach. You guys did have 32 uh, assists, six guys in double figures. What do you think of just ball movement and, and general offensive flow? Uh, yeah, the ball moved a lot better today than it probably had the um, you know previous games I think we just did a good job getting into the paint and then you know making the right decisions uh, guys were doing a good job getting in everybody was kind of collapsing and then the ball was just sort of spraying out Joe DeAndre is such an emotional leader of this team what's that moment like when he goes down is it a solidarity opportunity to kind of rise up together or, or is it a downer seeing such an emotional well you never want to see anybody get hurt it sucks but uh, you know, if you ever played basketball before, you probably sprained your ankle. So that stuff happens. It's part of the game. You know, you hope that it's not as bad um, as it appears. But we are, we're pretty fortunate to have a great performance staff. And as long as it's just a, a sprain, he'll probably be back before you know it.